Dan the undiagnosed turtle man. And due to severe brain damage I incurred as a child, I not only get the compulsive need to chew aquarium gravel, but I also feel the need to build something every few weeks. Recently, that involved building this 500 gallon freaking above ground turtle pond using nothing but scrap wood that they totally weren't using in the dumpster of a local construction site. The euphoria that I got from this project was relatively short lived because of my fried dopamine receptors thanks to the rise of short form content like YouTube shorts and TikTok. So I think I need to make something a little bit more mentally stimulating. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have a disability called being Italian, so with my parents' permission, I went on to youtube.com and searched for kid-friendly STEM projects. It was there that I found this video on making a mechanical hand, and this seemed like a super cool idea, except for the fact that I have a perfectly functioning hand, I would know since my ex-wife left me. And so I kept searching and found this video by Mark Rober, who's a former NASA scientist, and in it he shows this super cool science math trick using cards that even a kid could do. But the more I looked into it, the more complex I found out that it was, and I really don't think that I would be- oh, Christ, is that child doing alchemy? Regardless, I decided to give it a shot, found the nearest deck of cards, and went out to test it on my only friends. Come over here, pick a, pick, pick a card. Girl, pick a, no? All right, let's try this again. Pick a card, oh, seriously? I tried to get homegirl to pick a card, but she was not being very cooperative. So I decided I need to do something that really interests me, maybe using, you know, music or animals or high quality underground narcotics. So after a little more scrolling, I was able to find this video of a goldfish named Frederick who learned to trade stocks by this guy, Michael Reed, who's essentially Mark Rober if he hated himself, was Filipino, never went to NASA, grew up in Hawaii and stunted his growth eating nothing but spam masubi. You see, a project like this by someone like Michael Reeves is something I can totally get behind. I'm sure he's never said anything problematic in the past that would go directly against everything I stand for. Hold on, sorry. Hello? Yeah? The f is a Twitter? It's a turtle. Oh, why do you have, why do you have straws? In case this ever happens. Fuck the turtle. Kill that shit. Mom, it's already dead. Kill it again. Fuck turtles. You gotta Fuck turtles. <laughs> I will kill all the turtles. I swear to God. What's the most effective way to kill a turtle? Straw in the nose. <laughs> I don't give a shit. If you kill the turtles, then like, can I have my straws again? I want the corpses of turtles They're gonna be so cute. They're all gonna be like corpses of turtles. That's mm. not- What the fuck? Oh, hey kids, sit the f down. Class is in session. See, I got the glasses on so you can tell. Fuck this. You see, kids, turtles have been around for millions of years, virtually unchanged. They're the pinnacles of evolution. And I will not stand idly by as some manlet that can't even throw it back, destroy what millions of years of evolution has culminated to create. So I need to fight back against Michael using everything that he hates. I need to make the ultimate meme. Now, of course, one of my first thoughts is to use one of my live animals to destroy him. I mean, these guys, my little prisoners, they're well versed in the art of the shank, thanks to years of persecution and being put in prisons in disproportionately high numbers. However, unfortunately, turtle souls are bound to their mortal fleshy little vessels and are therefore weak to attacks such as plastic bags, plastic straws, and being curb stuck. Remember just a couple seconds ago when I said that these guys were the pinnacles of evolution? I was using a fun little mouse tool known as lying and gas Lighting. Now, people, humans, have the same problem. So how do we get around this? We adapt, we invent, we overcome, and we build dumb shit. So I'll just invent something that the turtle can use to destroy him. So the idea is simple. Little turtle control big mechanized robot turtle that, that shoots plastic straws. But Dan, I hear you ask, aren't turtles too stupid to operate giant robotics? To which I say, you, but yeah, they're, they're, they're dumb as hell. But they're smarter than a goldfish and the goldfish was able to trade stocks. How? Based off his position. So I'll just make the turtle's position designate where the robot goes. How? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, Michael, you already wrote the code. You already wrote the code for me. Thank Thanks, buddy. Now we just take this and throw it onto my camera. Little turtle enclosure, bada boom, bada bing. Thanks, dipshit. Okay, and so now we just, we just, we, we run Michael's code and please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh, oh, looky, oh, with that turtle tracking. Oh, look at that. Oh, forward, right, right, back, right, back, right. Oh, look at that turtle tracking code. Thanks, Michael. Oh, that's so nice of you. Look, it's tracking my turtle. Look, look at how every time it moves to a different position. Oh, what's that? It's sending it to a flask server so that way I can use it to operate the robot. Oh, Michael, thank you. Now, Pipsqueak, you did an amazing job. However, I need to get a more special pilot to control the EVA. Excuse me. 
guys have Reese turtles? Yeah, we do. That's right, Maremi's Reeves Eye, the Reeves turtle. Imagine being named after the very thing that you seek to destroy. I decided to name this little guy Shinji and he's gonna control the robot that's gonna kick Michael's ass. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky Back when they thought pink polos I hurt the rock Before Cam got the shit to pop, the doors closed I felt like bad boy street team, I couldn't work the locks Now let's go So now about three weeks later And my robot is done Look, here it is, it's basically just an Arduino that controls the four or two motors, however many there are Now in order to control this thing, I found an app online that would work But it was stupid and shitty because it wouldn't let a turtle control it So I built my own Here we go, we, we, we <laughs> We go for shit. We go forward. We go backwards. We go right. We go left. And then for the straw shooting, we got the little servo. Here, watch this. Oh, oh. So now all I need to do is rig this to work with the camera. Come here, Shinji. Plop him down there. Run the server and track. It sends data to the internet, which sends to my app. Connect the Bluetooth. And now, according to where Shinji moves, Shinji moved to forward. Forward position, oh, there it goes forward. Forward again, look, forward again. He hit the shoot, the servo, he hit shoot. Oh, it's, a, look at it, look at it. It's been another three weeks, I have a cold now, the turtle's done. It's got the shell, it's got the electronics, it's got the 3D printed crossbow straw shooter. So now I just need to get this invention to Michael so I can point down and laugh at him. But then, Macho Reeves is such a busy man. However, will you be able to find where he is located at? Open Source is an electronics and robotics based event held in San Francisco this July 15th and 16th by this guy, Big Billy Willy, Millie Billy Bobby, Ozzy, what? Uh, William Osmond. So this is by William Osmond. Now William's also a content creator who makes all kinds of wacky, crazy, quirky, cuckoo inventions, a lot like Michael Reeves. So guess who's also gonna be there? Uh, it's your boy. So how do I get into such a prestigious event? Well, it's simple. They're accepting applications from creators who have built cool things. So I'll just apply, go to the event, and then... Uh, all right, little little hiccup in the road. You know, my robot's super cool. So I'll just, uh, you know, I'll go here and I'll just apply again. And uh, this time, you know, we probably... All right, fine. On to plan B, lies and deceit. So I'll just go into the open source Discord server, find someone that's already exhibiting, convince them that I'm sane, get them to let me present with them, then book my flights, book a hotel in Skid Row, and get going to California for the first time. Uh, like, now. No, like, right now. Like, I already did all that. Uh, the flight's like, now. Let's go! So I know what you guys are thinking. Dan, what exactly is the plan here? You just spent two months of your time and $1,200 to get here. How exactly am I going to get Michael, who has thousands of fans that are also gonna be here wanting his attention to see your project. And honestly, that's a great question with a very simple answer. Open Source hosted some of the brightest minds from around the country, showing off a variety of the most technologically advanced robotics in the world. From the giant mech to the battle bots to the Tesla coils and even the giant fur, these creations were absolutely amazing. Pioneers of science and math, pinnacles of technological advancements and over- <laughs> Psych, I lied. Those exhibits sucked. Why? Because none of them were controlled by a tiny turtle. That's right, the turtle controlled straw shooting robot known unofficially as the F you Michael bot was working flawlessly, kicking ass and taking copious amounts of ketamine. One little thing I didn't mention about my robot is that it works from anywhere in the world. So even though I'm all the way out here in California, Shinji is right here, safe at home, controlling everything. I was even able to educate the youth on the importance of turtles, but I think Michael must have gotten to this kid first. So you don't want to protect the baby turtles? You want to you wanna destroy them? Regardless, the next two days were spent bragging about my awesome robot and trying to no avail to find Michael Reeves. Guys, it's been two days, two months of hard work, $1,500 to get here. Michael hasn't seen the turtle robot. I have no reason to bring it home. I'm just going to leave it and call it a day, I guess. Stupid thing. <laughs> Got a 
gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky.